Hello, my name's Diane McKendrick and I'm from the Oil Sisters. I'm here to talk to you today about EFT tapping and give you a five minute introduction, what it is, how it works and how it can help you. So the first thing to know is that EFT tapping or emotional freedom tapping has been around for a really long time. It's based on two concepts, one being the neuro-linguistal pathways, which is the wiring of our brain, and secondly, acupuncture pressure points. So Chinese medicine has been using acupuncture for thousands of years, and there's a growing body of research out there that shows us that EFT tapping is one of the most fast growing and best working techniques that you can use to drop fear. So what happens for a lot of us is we've got greatness locked inside of us, but through belief patterns, experiences, things that teachers said, things that parents have said, we create a belief system and we harbour and hold fear in ourselves. So what EFT tapping or emotional freedom tapping will do for you is help unblock and reduce and let go of that fear. So in acupuncture, ancient Chinese medicine, there is two meridians that run down our body, so it's energy work. And what can happen is when these meridians coming, running down each side of our body get blocked or stagnant, then, then we become blocked or stagnant as well. So we, with EFT tapping, which is basically using two fingers on, the, on several pressure points or acupuncture points around your face and your body, what will happen is it will help unblock and release um, and open up those pathways and open up those meridians. So as we're tapping on those places using two fingers, you can use two fingers on one side or both sides of your face. I'll be running through with you how to do it in other videos and on online seminars. But all you need to know is yeah, two fingers and the pressure points which I'll tell you about soon. And meanwhile, as we're doing it, we say an affirmation and a chant which works on the neuro-linguistic side of things. So for today, a lot of us experience probably stress and anxiety is the biggest one for me and a lot of the people that I work with. So I'll give you a really quick rundown on how we would tap for stress and anxiety. So what I'd love to invite you to do right now is on a scale from one to 10, choose where you are with your stress or your anxiety or the way that you're feeling. So 10 being completely off the chart at your threshold, so much going on you can barely cope. One being so relaxed and so calm and sitting on top of the mountain, stopped, mountain top or in your Zen Den meditating. So just feel into that and feel where you are and give it a number. And then before we start, I'll always say you need to take full responsibility for yourself during EFT tapping, because what can happen with the tapping is it's like an onion, we're peeling back the layers. So you might have some suppressed emotions in there that uh, after doing the tapping will release and open and come out. So we're just peeling back the layers of that onion. So you always need to take responsibility when you're doing your EFT tapping. If it's the first few times, you could do it with somebody else around you and do it together. So much fun doing it in a, in a team. So you have now chosen where you are on that scale one to 10 and taking full responsibility for yourself. Take a nice big deep breath in and out. And then you start tapping. So the first place that you're going to tap is right on the top of your head. And you're going to say, even though I feel stressed, I deeply and profoundly accept myself. Even though I feel stressed, I deeply and profoundly accept myself. Then we're gonna to come to the top of the eyebrow. Even though I feel stressed, I deeply and profoundly accept myself. Even though I feel stressed, I deeply and profoundly accept myself. Side of the eye, even though I feel stressed, I deeply and profoundly accept myself. Under the eye, even though I feel stressed, I deeply and profoundly accept myself. Under the nose, even though I feel stressed, I deeply and profoundly accept myself. Under here, keep chanting the whole time on your chest, under your arm, and then on top of your head. And what I want you all to do is take a big deep breath in and out, and check back in. How do you feel on a scale from one to 10? How has that changed? Report back, give me feedback. 
If you want more information, there's the link to our website below and I'll see you all soon.